We transition now to the subject of telemedicine and a number of counties are making strides in the provision of healthcare services by embracing the use of technology in service delivery. That's right. As our very own Emily Jabed reports, the first proxy powered operating theater at Makueni Mother and Child Hospital demonstrates the transformative power of digital technology in addressing inequitable access to surgical care and resource utilization. Take a listen. About a month ago, this 51-year-old patient who is lying at the Makueni Teaching and Referral Hospital Theater developed subdural hematoma that resulted from a fall. After several visits to hospital, the patient was advised to undergo surgery to remove the accumulation of blood in his head. He is one of the patients who has consented to have the procedure streamed live through Proximi Digital Technology. Theatres that are powered with this technology has four cameras, speakers and a laptop for streaming live sessions for purposes of training, auditing to ensure safe surgery practices are adhered to, and consulting specialists where necessary from wherever they are. As a consultant obstetrician, being the only one at the county referral hospital, instead of I travelling to Borne to try and uh, conduct mentorship there, they can just uh, schedule a session and then they invite me and then I log in and I'll be able to view what they are doing from the county referral hospital and then uh, give uh, comments, uh, feedback and uh, support them in the, whatever they are doing. You can actually teach um, a, a very large class or it can even be broadcasted over the internet, um, uh, in dif even internationally. Um, so it's, um, it's a really great technology. Um, it, it brings the class into the theater. You don't have, uh, you don't need people in theater for them to learn. Makueni County, which is the first county to embrace the technology, has connected five of its sub-county through digital infrastructure. A county having been so big and uh, offering specialist services, the pressure on, on those specialists becomes very high for them to just travel. Uh, but with this technology, we are able to train. We are able to train students and we are able to use our people here. You can actually uh, uh, be part of a case, um, even if you are far away, like let's say you're in Nairobi and there's a doctor um, who is here and is doing an operation and you're not able to arrive, but he needs you to give input or for you to show him maybe something that he needs to look at. You can actually um, guide. There's a certain time span that you're supposed to do that procedure. Yeah. Yeah. Like for example, if you are to do it for 30 seconds, then when you look at the file, it will be documented that the procedure was done. But whether it was done for 30 seconds or not, you may not know. But now with Proximy, we have uh, realized that sometimes people don't do it for the entire duration. At the Council of Governors offices in Nairobi, Makueni Governor Mutula Kilonzo Jr. was joined by a team from the counties of Moranga, Mombasa and Nakuru, who are in the process of introducing the telesurgery in their respective counties. Fistula surgeons are 10 in Kenya, 10. An old woman with gray hair has been having fistula for 25 years. So unless we can leverage on this technology, I can tell you there are women who can go to a meeting, who can go to a chama, as you call them, because of what they are suffering. So we are looking forward. I think we, we should have been in the system long time ago. But I'm very happy because our governor is more uh, serious about it. She's actually more particular about digitization of our hospitals. What we've been doing so far is donating the kits and then letting the counties work for two years to understand how does it work in the workflow. Where is the value? Because if there isn't any, you shouldn't be using it. You should take it out. And then at that point, look at how to transition to ownership because local ownership is critical. You must own it. Makueni has also been leveraging on the technology to help pregnant women who deliver through C-section. We introduced uh, initially the uh, obstetric safe surgery, um, which is a program that was uh, we were working closely with uh, Jepaigo as a partner to ensure that uh, the mothers when in theatre uh, will actually uh, get into theatre and come out, um, you know, uh, safely. This proximity program, the Japaigo have been able to invest in the county an average of uh, 400,000 per theater in terms of the equipment which is in those theaters and then now there is a training, there is a monitoring and also the exchange programs that we have been having between our staff 
and therefore there is more support than the equipment. The remote delivery of healthcare services and medical consultations through digital communication tools, otherwise known as telemedicine, is not only timely but a promising future in making healthcare accessible to all. Emily Chabert, Citizen TV, Nairobi.